Let's see if you can guess what device is pacing this patient. Our team recently took care of a patient who came into the ER with lightheadedness, bradycardia, and hypotension, and this EKG. The EKG is notable for an underlying third degree heart block, but most importantly, a ventricularly paced rhythm with obvious pacer spikes noted throughout the EKG. Now here's the mysterious part. The patient had no AICD or pacemaker noted on physical exam. So what was pacing this patient and creating pacer spikes? Our team then got an AP chest x-ray that was read by the radiologist as a loop recorder is present in the left lower chest. But I know what you're thinking. Loop recorders also have no pacing function whatsoever. So if it wasn't a loop recorder, what was the device seen on AP chest x-ray? The answer is that the device was actually a permanent, leadless cardiac pacemaker. These devices were introduced in 2020 and have been showing up in EDs everywhere. As a result, this is something you need to know about. These bullet-shaped pacemakers are placed percutaneously via the femoral approach and attached to the right ventricle using four small little tines. And the good news is that these devices are MRI compatible. The pros of these devices are quite obvious as a lot of the complications associated with traditionally placed transvenous pacemakers are virtually eliminated such as pocket infections, pocket hematomas, lead dislodgement, and lead fractures. The cons of these devices, however, is that they can only do single chamber ventricular pacing, and they have no defibrillation capacity whatsoever. These devices are often confused for cardiac loop recorders on AP chest x-ray. However, the difference is much more noticeable as soon as you get a lateral chest x-ray or on physical exam because as we know, loop recorders are placed subcutaneously, whereas leadless cardiac pacemakers are placed within the right ventricle. So what do we do with our patient? Well, we consulted EP cardiology who came down and adjusted the atrial sensing thresholds, something that often has to be done when these devices start failing. So the next time you see pacer spikes on an EKG, but nothing in the pocket on patient's physical exam, think leadless cardiac pacemaker. All right, that's your quick hit for today. And as always, time to go and crush your shift. <laughs>